Yes guys, welcome back to another video and it is your boy Chef Andre Davy. And right here guys, I have some Neesberry, okay guys? For some people it is Sapadella. But if you have another name for it guys, please go ahead and leave the name in the comment box, okay guys? So I'm going to show you how to get this ready for the lovely Sapadella juice or Neesberry juice. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut it like this, okay guys? Okay, as you can see, there are seeds inside. So what I'm going to do, guys, I'm just going to go ahead and use a spoon. This way is pretty easy. I'm just going to do like this. Okay, guys. Okay. And then I'll be removing the seed. The seed is this one. Pretty easy to remove. And right here, I already have some, so I'm just gonna go ahead and add it to it, okay, guys. And I'll be doing the same for this one, same province. Remove the seed, okay, guys. So I'll be showing you how to, the next way, how to remove the seed, or how to prepare this one by using the knife. Just gonna go ahead and peel the skin off. But for me guys, the spoon is a lot more easier. But you know, everyone has a different technique of preparing their stuff. Or for some people, guys, they don't remove the, the skin. That's also okay. But for me, I like to remove the skin and the seeds. See you guys, it's pretty soft. And the thing, this fruit is super sweet, guys. It's easy to take care of. Very easy to prepare. See, guys? I'm just checking to see if there are any more seeds inside. And here we go, guys. So, what I'm gonna do, guys, I'll be using this amazing Neesberry or Sapadella. Or remember, guys, if you have another name for it, please go ahead and leave it in the comment box. I'll be using this to make a lovely Neesberry juice, okay, guys? So yes guys, here we go. What I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna go ahead and put the Neesberry in a blender, okay guys? Okay guys, then to that, I'll be adding in some water. Cinnamon, some vanilla extract, and I'm just gonna go ahead and add some condensed milk, okay, guys. And I'm just gonna go ahead and put this to blend. And here we go guys, our sapadella juice is ready. You can go ahead and pour over ice if you like, but I know for some people they don't like anything icy or cold, so here we go. See guys, it's pretty easy. So now we know how to make your sapadella or your nisberry juice. Guys, don't let this stay on the tree and rot, okay guys? Go and enjoy some sapadella juice and I will catch you in another video pretty pretty soon. Goodbye guys.